Hey there, welcome back to another Jenny vlog video and uh, I have to remember not to uh, glance off to the side there, it's actually where the screen is for the camera and uh, the great temptation is always look at yourself on the screen and then you become a babbling buffoon uh, because there's an ever so slight delay. <laughs> late at night and uh, I've enjoyed a Stella Artois cider so probably a little bit uh, spaced out a bit at the moment but we're putting together um, another vlog video really a Jenny cam video and what we found is that there's lots of bits where the camera's been left running whilst we've been setting up usually Zoe setting up and I tend to just talk incessantly at the camera and it seemed a shame to discard this stuff. So we thought, you know what, enjoy. Watch these and um, you see a little bit of the behind the scenes magic that goes into creating some of the videos here on this channel. <laughs> well, here now, um, I feel all talked out because I've just done uh, three more uh, in quick succession uh, vinyl videos. And this is the top 1000 vinyl videos um, that we're doing quite extensively for a while. And they seem to have been a little bit of a slow burner because at the time they didn't get anywhere near as many views as uh, any of my other stuff. And uh, it was kind of going for a different crowd. And I always felt at the time that I was kind of flogging a dead horse insofar as the people wanting to watch them just weren't there enough to make it worthwhile. I felt like um, I was putting out too many too quickly and it felt almost like I was padding out the amount of stuff on the channel with these vinyl videos. And I don't think looking back that really was the case, but it may have felt to me that case, the case. So for probably about a year now, we've let it go dry, um, not done any more vinyl videos. I've certainly been buying a lot of vinyl, because I always do. Um, but more and more I'm getting people asking questions on the vinyl videos that I have done. And also, more importantly, asking when I'm going to do some more. I think people want to see more and the time became right to do some more. So I've done three videos back to back, three vinyl LPs in each video. And it's gone all right, actually. There's a few LPs in here where I know they're good LPs. And uh, a lot of the things that people who have been asking for more videos have been posting is suggestions for what I could do um, in these videos. And unfortunately, some of the suggestions, I just don't have those LPs. Um, but some of the others I do. And it's made me kind of investigate albums which have somehow found their way into the collection. I may not necessarily have listened to either recently or in some cases like Frankenchrist by uh, Dave Kennedy's um, pretty much at all. And I'm uh, thinking, why, why have I not listened to this? This is, this is a travesty that I've got this album. And I've had it in my collection for best part of 20 years. And I've not actually listened to it. And I listened to it for the first time today. And it was quite pleasing to the ear, shall we say. Um, so I'm going to you know, listen to some of these a lot more. Um, but, you know, it's late now. I'm looking at the clock up there. We're looking at 10 past 1 in the morning. Don't say I don't work the hours for you. Still got a couple of logs there on the fire. But it's, you know, it's nice to... Uh, sit here in the library and record some um, videos that are just a little bit different from what I've been doing more recently. Uh, and I like that. And there's a little story to be told really about a lot of these albums, not just about the album per se itself, but certainly when there's a memorable tale of how I came by the album. Um, I do like to tell it. I get told off by Zoe um, for rambling, rambling on and on and on. But in some, sometimes that's the little bit extra that I, I'm hoping I can bring to this video, or to these videos, by having that something a bit different. Because, you know, anybody can go and look at Wikipedia for these um, albums and that. And, you know, I do go and have a quick skim read through so that I can pick out little details. But sometimes it's nice to get that personal touch. You know, the story behind why I have a copy of that album. And, you know, it's maybe that's what I can bring to these videos. I don't know. 
but uh, it's late. I'm going to tidy up now, let Zoe come on down, video some of these covers and uh, for the inserts into the videos and uh, I'm going to go to bed. Well, we've just finished filming the 300th video, well certainly the, the talky talky bits, for the 300th video for my YouTube channel. And what we're going to do is, um, it's sort of essentially kind of like a clip show. And You know, we've all been fans of TV series where mid-season they have an episode where they chuck together clips of all the previous ones showing all the good times. Yeah, it's um, quite good, but... <laughs> it was brought them out of storage, but... Hello, I'm a yeah. monster. Yes, you are. There you are. We haven't got handcuffs, but uh, we've got the next best thing. Hi. 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 There we are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on now. Oh, I asked them specifically for a sideways baseball cap so we could do it 90s style. But they said, well, we, we, all we can find is a normal one. You just have to turn it round sideways and see if that works. It used to be with it. And then they changed what it was. Now it seems weird and scary. And frightening. Give me back my 1990s. I quite liked my skateboard and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hey, that, that's actually an interesting point. Remember, I think it was yesterday, we were talking about uh, the PlayStation 1. Oh, yeah. And I mentioned that the PlayStation 1 is uh, 25 years old. Oh, no, not 25. It came out in 95, so it's uh, 20, 21. 22 years old. Oh, God, yeah. This year. And you said, no. It can't be. It's only from the nineties. That's the thing, and um, all the, all of the um, the slightly older people, the, the more mature people amongst the audience, will sympathise with this. You reach a point where it's kind of like there's a bit of your brain which goes, right, we have reached adulthood. It, it is going to be, um, it's going to be 1995 for the rest of eternity, and from then on, whenever you find people who have a birthday that is is um, at or later than um, your perceived, like, gone into adulthood moment, um, you sit there thinking, why is this person talking to me, much less driving a car and voting, that they were only born in 1995? How can this be possible? But they do, and it's scary. And inside of me, this there's, there's a 16-year-old person going, help, help, I'm trying to get out. They yeah. say you are what you eat, and I appear to have eaten a an old person, <laughs> a very a slightly overweight and unhealthy older person. I don't know how that happened. I'm not actually feeling all that well today, so uh, put a brave here. face on it. Right there. I'm just sat here. I'm I'm contemplating. I've got to go. I've got to go and refile all these alphabetically in the other room. So uh, just. Uh, just contemplate here. If it wasn't so late, actually, I'd probably put this one back on really loud. The Kills. Just love that track, Black Tar. Really do. Fair enough. You could always listen to it on headphones. No, because I've got them headphones that leave fluff all over my head. And to be honest, it's late. It's what? You could listen to them on the headphones I've got in the office. No, it's what? 25 past one. Yeah, it's getting late. I'm going to have to go and edit the vlog in a minute. Yeah, well... To be honest, I'll wait until tomorrow morning. Maybe. So this is it. We're, we're, the problem we've got is that we our sleeping pattern, we work on a 25-hour day. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gradually getting, being up later and later, and it means that we're not getting up until later and later in the morning. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Yeah, especially this time of year when it's dark mm. so much. If you're not getting up until 11 in the morning, because you've been up until 4 or 5 in the morning, uh, the problem then is that most of your daylight's gone. It's interesting, actually, when you were working for that company in San Francisco, um, that's actually the reason that we have two uh, clocks mm. on the landing. And the reason for that, um, we don't keep it up. One of them, the battery's gone flat, and I can't be bothered replacing it. Um, one of the reasons for that is not just some kind of ironic hipster uh, Art Deco thing. It's actually, so one was on UK time and the other one was actually set for San Francisco time. Mm. Um, so that so we knew what time it was supposed to be where she was working, even though she wasn't, she was, you know, she was on the other side of the world from there. The things we do, eh? Yeah, yeah. 
Well, we're not conventional people, not by a long stretch of the imagination. Some people might say that we're eccentric. But no, we're slightly eccentric, I suppose, yeah, and we do recognise that. But it's, you know, sometimes you just have to break out from the mould of the, of the norm. And certainly if you're a creative person, you know, don't be bound by rules. And I suppose that's what makes the difference between regular everyday people and um, really creative people is the really creative people will just start doing things differently and don't think it's odd. Whereas I guess most people, you know, nine to five regular job would find the way we do things very peculiar yeah. and almost alien. And this is me, Jen Kirk, saying until next time, you take very good care of yourself. Bye for now. Stick them up. Reach for the sky. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> well, I think it's time to put the sideways baseball cap away and uh, bid you all farewell. Reach for the skies. Or something like that. I don't know. <laughs>